Good morning. Today in reading, this verse stood out to me from the One Year Bible in the book of James, chapter 5, verse 9. It says, don't grumble about each other, brothers and sisters, or you'll be judged. For look, the judge is standing at the door. Hmm. This chair side chat is really not easy to do. I admit that up front. It's challenging for me to accept that this verse is speaking to me. And it's somewhat embarrassing to state it openly. I am a grumbler. I don't really know when it began. It could be that I've always been something of a grumbler, but I don't really remember it much in my younger years. I know that my default is pessimist but I don't know that a more negative outlook necessarily equates to grumbling. I don't know. Maybe it does. And I'm just deluding myself. I don't know. What I do recognize is that at 59, I am on a collision course with becoming a grumpy old guy. I get it. Warning received. Stop grumbling about the slow driver in the left lane. Stop grumbling about the children free ranging through Walmart without any parental supervision. Stop grumbling about the obnoxious pontification from the talking head on the TV news program. Stop grumbling about the length of the drive through line at Chick-fil-A. Just stop grumbling. My grumbling will do nothing to correct the situation. It has no positive benefit and has plenty of negative effects. Grumbling is incapacitating. Grumbling is ungrateful. Grumbling is infectious. Grumbling is also a choice. It may become our default through habit, but a choice is still involved. And that's the hope found in this verse. Don't grumble. The command from God indicates that a choice has been presented. The imperative is clearly stated. Choose not to grumble. That's my task for today. It's the Lord's word to me. Do not grumble. Message received. Pray with me. Lord, help me to be aware of the times that uh, grumbling starts creeping up on me and to make a better choice to be more encouraging, to be more positive, not to grumble. Help me to choose better. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, hope you have a great day. God bless you, friends. See you tomorrow.